How's it going, guys? Uh, looks like we got some dried saddle here. Otherwise known as pheasant's back or hawk's wing, I think it's also called. Um, as you can see, it's brown top with uh, some scaly looking patches of brown there. Underneath, there's its pores. Feels very tender. This is a uh, edible mushroom. So I'm gonna be taking it back with me tonight. And cooking it up. Awesome, another new find. Okay, so we have our pheasant back, dryad saddle, hawkswing, whatever, Seriopora squamosus is the scientific name, or polyporus squamosus. Um, so I'm not sure what that little uh, indentation is for, but so basically the edible part is anything that cuts easy, it's supposed to cut like butter. Um, the stem is usually too tough, uh, so we're just gonna see what we can get from it. Yeah, so this is cutting pretty easy. Oh yeah, that's cutting super easy, super easy. Okay, so very fresh. Um, you know, the smaller they are, the better they are. Uh, the more tender they'll be. Uh, they do get huge, massive in size, like really, really big stuff. But those ones are usually too tough and you only can eat like the outer edge. So, But we got, you know, a little snack here. Okay, so I've rinsed it off. I'm just going to get a pan, put some butter in it. Maybe garlic or something if I have it. Throw these guys in there, cook them up, and eat them. Got a, got a couple pieces of dried saddle in there. Some butter, some garlic. And make sure to cook them, cook them thoroughly. Spread it around. Oh yeah, it's gonna be delicious. Okay. There we have our finished fried pheasant back, dryad saddle, hawk swing, seriopores squamosis. I may have overdid them a little bit, but this is my first time eating a mushroom that I picked myself and I wanted to make sure that they were cooked. So. Let's give them a shot, huh? Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good.